religion is almost um, a necessary thing that we would engage in. Uh, myself, I'm a very religious person. Uh, I have my, uh, my definitions what religion is about and what uh, uh, I think when you speak of religion, you talk about God and, and uh, so forth. Uh, as I analyze religions, I find that we always talk about the same God, and uh, that is always the person or the thing in, uh, in nature that we do not know, that we do not understand, that we do not control, but yet somehow it affects us. So then in the Webster Dictionary, they say uh, that this also could be defined as ignorance, you see? You don't know God, but there's something out there. You didn't create yourself. You must be created. I find that uh, to tell a person, don't believe in God, don't believe, uh, is to also tell him that pretend that you know everything, all of the answers. So no matter what religion, whether it's Judaism, Christianity, Islam, God is always that thing, the unknown, the unknown, they say the unknowable, and I say that it's a thing that's ignorance. It's ignorance when you don't know it, and it's wisdom when you do. And so the scriptures, you know, my father has been a minister ever since I can remember, that he used to always tell me, you know, that uh, the church is in the heart of men and uh, God grows within. So as we eliminate our ignorance and uh, God uh, stops being ignorant but becomes wisdom, then he grows within and then we'll really know who God is. We'll see that we walk with him, uh, that we talk with him, we'll find ourselves and we'll know that our pipe has been in our mouth all the time. We'll know really who we are and we'll know who God is. We'll find that he's the all, really, which is a nonsense term now. Man only knows events in between the beginning and the end. Both of those are words that maybe Mr. Buckley can define, but I can't. But uh, we know there's something outside of events that we don't understand. We're very motley crew, really, at this time in our evolution.